Hey friends, it's Brian and it's time for a workshop video. I don't feel super good today. Uh, might have come down with COVID, whatever the fuck version it is. But anyway, this is going to go over here so I can paint this floor, which is something I've wanted to do for a long time. Makes it much easier to keep it clean, makes it much brighter in here, which makes it easier to work. And I realized recently, I don't have any videos of me using the shop crane that I built. so. That's what today's video is about, is about how to use my shop crane that I built. And if you want to know how to build one, I've got a build video that shows how I built it. And uh, just a word to the wise, if the armchair engineers uh, have something to say, uh, put it in the comments, but stuff it when it comes to, oh, that's not safe. Oh, that's not qualifying for that load. Oh, oh, oh. I don't want to hear it. If that's all you're going to do is bitch, keep moving and unsubscribe. Um, in the meanwhile, for the people who actually need to get shit done, um, this lathe weighs approximately 5,000 pounds. The beam calculates out to a 10,000 pound load. And I've got more than enough hydraulic lift capacity and at no point will I be underneath the lift. So in my opinion, I'm safe and I've moved this hmm, four or five times now. Uh, so this will be the sixth time to move it on the lift. All right, so. Let me uh, open the door and bring in the, the crane. I, I keep it out in the back of my yard. Ain't gonna hurt nothing if it gets wet. So, uh, one of the things that's special about this uh, gantry crane is that it is designed to come apart if it needs to be moved uh, and through an opening or something. So, these will lift straight out. Uh, you actually flip the crane over, uh, these come off. They're collared at the top and at the bottom. And these are just some of the things that make this gantry crane unique. And I designed it specifically to work in my garage. I don't have a very tall ceiling here. Um, it probably would be better to have the wheels spread out a little bit more, but I everything's been done for a reason. Um, and while I didn't go to school for engineering, I don't have a degree, been told multiple times I probably should have been one. I just don't like the way math is taught in schools. Um, and that, that's really what it comes down to. So I am using a rated lifting pair. And I am using a rated lifting harness that I do keep out of the elements. The uh, weakest point about this lift is the wood that's underneath the ways. Um, so we'll go through a couple of phases on this lift. Uh, the first phase is to uh, come to a neutral point. The second phase is to uh, ensure that we are balanced. Uh, one of the things that is also quite helpful is to pre-position the wheels in the direction you want to go. They don't have a whole lot of caster. Um, wheels are probably the second most weakest thing on this crane.
All right, we're coming around to what I consider neutral. I don't have a whole lot of, it's just me. I weigh 200 and, 201 pounds and a half. Yeah, that's bullshit, just like Trump's weight yesterday at his arraignment. Uh, I, I, you know, making sure I'm clear of my drive screws. I don't weigh nearly as much as this device does. Uh, that's the most important takeaway. Um, so, let's pick it up. So as these lift, this wants to get away and this thick wall square tubing pushed against this thick wall square tubing ain't going nowhere. is touching right here. I don't really just bring it up enough to move it, but in this case, I don't feel like scratching the floor because, yeah, I just painted it. That's all there is to it. With the wheels pre-positioned, this is a lot easier. Let me see where we're at here. I got a little more space. Another five, six inches. I was worried about the amount of flax and so I built these little stands which can go under here and there is enough flex to engage them um, but I've learned that they're really not necessary at 5,000 pounds so it's very uneventful uh, now we'll just gently let it down These are Harbor Freight's cheapest, shittiest, Chinese-made hydraulic long-ram jacks. Uh, you can also get them on Vivo, uh, which is where I would probably purchase them at this day, in this day and age. Uh, pushing up against the corner of the mill, and I don't like that, so I'm going to pick it back up and move it just a little bit. but I don't see any reason to damage it yet. All right, we're on the ground there. So we'll be on the ground over here. And that's all there is to it. So 
Matt is moving 5,000 pound lathe solo with a home built gantry crane. And again, the key to this is making sure you've got an I-beam that is at least as strong as your spec. Okay, 5,000 pound device. I've got 10,000 pounds of beam capacity here with very, very minor deflection over the span. Uh, and, um, you know, it's, it's held up and it's worked exactly like I designed it to. So uh, it's been four years, four and a half years since I, I built this. Um, and it's been, I think I spent $350 on it at the time. Um, and uh, anyway, so hope you enjoyed that. Hope it's helpful or inspirational to people who have a similar problem where you need to be able to pick stuff up. One of the things I would do differently on this is I would add pins, uh, but my milling machine's not working. Um, and then it, it would be nice if this was taller. Um, that's been my other uh, challenge with it. Like if I needed to lift the bridge port, it could probably be done, but it'd be really close to the capacity height-wise for this. This was really designed for this in a box truck. Um, the goal was to put this in a box truck, take it to San Antonio where I bought this lathe, uh, reassemble the crane, pick this up so I could slide a pallet under it in uh, a, somebody else's garage, and then um, do the reverse here, pick it up so I could get the, the pallet out from under it. And that's, that's really what this crane was designed for. Uh, this bonus of being able to move this thing around, yeah, that's completely just bonus. It was never intended to last this long. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.